times did you work on something only to, after you finish it, realize that you were working on the wrong thing and you actually needed to be doing something else. Woo, oh God, I feel you. Hey there, I'm a Steve a productivity coach and help people rewire their brain to be more efficient and effective. And today we're going to talk about why you sometimes make that problem and how you could actually get clear on the real problem. But first, if you would like to be more productive, you might be having a mindset issue with your mind getting in your way of being productive. So head over to lifepicksuniversity.com forward slash mindset to take the productivity mindset assessment. So that's lifepicks, P-I-X, university.com forward slash mindset. Now, today we are talking about the cognitive function of defining a problem. Cognitive functions are the things that make thinking and one of them are weak. It affects all areas of your life. So in this cognitive function, not being able to get super clear on what the problem is, you are going to be wasting a lot of time, money, and energy on things that didn't have to be used for because it wasn't the actual problem. Oh, I'm sure you could feel it. We actually spoke about this one in the past in episode 257. So if you missed that, you'll want to go back and listen to it because this time we are going even deeper. Last time we looked about noticing and labeling things, which are also a all super important, but, it, but today we're going on understanding the problems in real bigger life issues. Just like in the previous episode with emotional eating with Tricia, where she was sharing where she was sharing how emotional eating is not a diet problem. It's a life problem. It's not a food problem. It's there's a deeper reason. There's an underlining real problem that we are emotional eating. So by you trying to diet or by you restricting certain things or acting in certain ways that are dealing with the problem, you're not actually solving the problem because you're solving, you're dealing with the food, not the problem, not that is actually causing you to emotionally eat. If you see, solve the problem, the real problem, then you won't emotionally eat. It's like a domino effect working on the core of the issue. So where else in your life is there something that is, causing you to have not such a good habit. This could be in the way you're reacting to people. This could be in the way you're doing things, how productive you're being. This is could be in the way you're talking to your partner or your kids, the way you're running your life. Maybe it's affecting the way you're waking up every morning. If you are struggling to wake up in the morning and get out of bed, there's a reason for it. It's not just about setting your alarm clock and putting it in a different place or getting a different type of alarm clock, getting a vibrator alarm clock or something else. There's a real reason why you are struggling getting out of bed and you want to understand what that real reason is. Or if you feel like you could never make dinner and for some reason you just never have time for it, trying to have all these meal plans and figuring out all these different things can be really helpful, but it's not solving the real problem. What is underlining? What is there that is stopping you from actually being able to make dinner. Okay. So you're going to want to do is you have to make sure that you are being, you are calm, you are focused, and you could actually get in touch with yourself. So you could either meditate, you could go on a walk, you could do some yoga, you could journal, you could talk to the different parts of yourself. But the point is that you want to give yourself some space so you could connect with yourself and understand what is actually going on here. So you could get super clear and not just find a new way to organize your kitchen or find a new way, find a new, like, uh, um, get more presents for your husband because you don't have a way to go and talk to him, right? You want to really understand why is he upset at you? What is actually going on? So your challenge for today is to find 15 minutes this week, at least 15 minutes to go and be calm, to get yourself centered, to be grounded and then connect with yourself. Go inwards, turn inside you, whether it's journaling, writing, maybe journaling with your non-dominant hand, or maybe it's talking to a friend who could actually talk directly to you and help you figure out those answers yourself. Or maybe it's just thinking and actually thinking, what is the underlying problem? You want to get clear. Once you get clear, ask yourself 
Is there something underneath this? Is there anything really? Why am I doing this? What is really going on here? Ask yourself a few times so that way you could get super clear on the, your problem. Have an awesome rest of your day and I'll see you on the next episode. Bye for now. That's all for this episode of the Life Fix University podcast, but I have a huge favor to ask of you that will not only support the show, but will also help the people you love most. We are striving for 1 million downloads by the end of 2025, and we can't do this without your help. If you love this episode, please share it with two of your family and friends so they too can rewire their brains to have an extraordinary marriage. It was awesome spending time with you, and I'll see you on the next episode. Yeah.